Yes, that liquid's boiling, but it's not water. In this video, we're gonna fit this bush in by shrinking it down with liquid nitrogen and using just our hands to fit it. First, we're gonna clean the bore up and make sure there's no burrs sticking out to catch the bush. And spray down with brake cleaner to remove any dirt on the bore and the bush. Once everything's clean, we can go ahead and freeze down our bush. Using an old esky, we put the bush inside and pour liquid nitrogen on top until it covers the whole bush. We have glasses and gloves on in case of any splashback because liquid nitrogen can easily burn you. Once the bush is covered, we'll put the lid on and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. Next, we needed to measure our bush. It's 95 millimeters. And our bore, it's 115. That gives us 20 mils. So we need to divide that by two and put our vernius to 10 mils and then we can mark a line inside the bore of where exactly the bush is supposed to sit to be centered. As the bush freezes down it boils less and less gas evaporates off. Now you know that the bush is getting close to its lowest temperature. When you think it's ready remove the bush and go slide it in just go in by hand. The bush would have shrunk at least 0.1 of a mil, otherwise known as the crush, and uh, that makes all the difference from any other not fitted to you know, just slide straight in. In a few minutes the bush will heat up and freeze in place and then you can go ahead and install your grease seals. We're using here Loctite 620 retaining compound just to help hold the grease seal in. Just gently tap the grease seal in with a hammer um, till it's home. Drive it in till it sits flush. And the bush is installed using no special tooling other than liquid nitrogen, a hammer and a pair of pliers. If you like this video, hit the subscribe and like button.